Well, good evening wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Nabil Fekir. He's just so hard to stop when he's moving at pace, Peter. He's got real end product too, and the opposition defence will be wanting to make sure he doesn't get any shots away. I think he's going to add a lot of dynamism to this attack, and that might prove decisive today. Well, quite no argument for me on that one. So we're up and running. Canales hoists it forward. Fakir plays it out to the wing. Oh, he's caught him there. It's a free kick. Santimina, Santimina not easily shrugged off the ball. Joaquin. Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. And that's the end of that, it all started well enough. Finds himself eased off the ball. And here's Fakir. Joaquin plays it out to the flank. In with a header! Celta Vigo have opted to really stretch the game now. Yeah, that's pretty evident, but what's their thinking? Um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18-yard box, trying to remove that compactness. Canales. And it's Montoya. And the ball is out of play. And it's played forward. Goal now would certainly liven things up. Has a pop! In for the follow-up! It's in! Santimina with a predatory goal. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation, but nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. Celta Vigo, draw first blood here. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Shapes to shoot! There is the half-time whistle. So there you have it, a close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. It's a dressing room that needs rousing at half-time because, in truth, they've not really been at it so far. 
Um, if the pep talk works, we may see a very different side second half. We need to. And the game has already resumed here. Real Betis need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complimented. Goes for goal! Yeah, just thinking about the goalkeeper again, he really had to be at his best, didn't he? It's for Kier! It's in! Real Betis back on level terms! That's wonderfully done. Chris hit, true finish. Oh, you've got to love that. Concentration, conviction, contact and sheer class. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, they're back on level terms, so the guessing game goes on. As to what will happen from here, I've no idea. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Shoots! Oh, he couldn't get hold of it. Look, it, it was achievable, Peter, but it needed his best. Great run, this. He's covered quite a distance. Going through. Played out to the right. Oh, well intercepted. Really alert to the danger. Gets away from his opponent. He couldn't find the finish. Well, maybe the tension around this game played a part in that because he should have put them ahead then. Challenge, he just stood firm. It's a great gallop down the right hand side. Whipped in. Up to meet it! Oh, just needed a better contact. Real Betis can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Balls out on the left, now. Fakir. Joaquin. Has a goal! Oh, what about that? And that has raised the roof! Lovely goal, perfect poise to set himself for the strike. Having turned the game on its head, now can they hold out? Well, the last moments now, Peter, are going to be very frantic. There's still time for a, a twist or two yet. And the referee brings it to a close. Real Betis did it the hard way. A testament to their great powers of recovery. They have defied the odds. Thrilling, nail-biting, perhaps frustrating until the very end. 
but we do have a winner. Well, I just think that determination and persistence has paid off handsomely to, to squeeze the win out of a draw. Sometimes it comes down to grit and desire and the stubbornness to keep plugging away. And uh, this has been great staying power. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.